fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 30th of November 2024. This will be the last puzzle in November. Uh, it's going to be the Los Angeles Times hard level Sudoku Puzzle. I'll be bashing it in a minute. Kiss me, honey, honey, kiss me. Ooh, you're not honey, you're some kind of cheap sugar substitute is a, a refrain that you might be hearing around the world uh, because um, there is so much fraud in the world of honey. Most of what you're getting is not what it seems. And that depends on your honey, I suppose, who, who your honey is. Uh, apparently, the World Beekeeping Awards will not be awarding a prize for honey next year because there is so much fraud, they really can't tell what's real and what's genuine anymore. And there is almost, uh, it's, it's just really difficult to actually find the real thing that's completely unadulterated. Uh, I've, I, I heard this story um, a while back actually, but I just found out that there, there will be no awards. Uh, in 2019, about uh, previous awards in Montreal, 45% uh, of the honeys were rejected um, for different reasons, but mostly because of a suspected uh, adulteration, you know, um, additives, etc. Cheaper substitutes, etc., etc. Uh, honey is super expensive uh, here in Bangkok. When you, I mean, many things that are imported into Thailand are faced with a luxury tax, um, and I think honey is probably one of those things, which is why I always try to buy the local stuff, which is. I'll be honest, not particularly high grade, I think. Uh, it's always dark, clear honey, um, as opposed to the various shades of brown and t textures and consistencies that you can get from honey around the world. Um, Thai, is, Thai honey is, I think, well, is the, and the cheap stuff that I, cheaper, it's not cheap, but cheaper stuff that I buy is probably adulterated too. Uh, but what can you do about it? Uh, some of us need our sweetness from time to time. And don't tell me you're sweet enough already. I'm not sure I'll believe you. All right. <coughs> so, honey producers, get your act together. Give us the real thing, if you possibly can. And I don't know if it's affordable, though. That's the problem. It is getting worse and worse. And, of course, with the problem with bees across the world, we know. All right, then. Uh, shall we get on with our game of Sudoku? Like I said, this will be the last one I'm playing because tomorrow is December already. Oh, God, the end of the year is nigh. Fours block down here like this, giving me four in this square here. Why have I stopped? Because I haven't seen anything else, that's why. Um, still looking, just starting to look at the grid. Give me a chance, will you? It does take a little while to f spot at least the first few couple of digits. But, you know, they normally jump up at me for a, after a little while. Six blocking down here, there's a six. Last digit to get there is, can't see it, two. Uh, what are we looking for here? Two and eight, is it? I think it is. So eight blocking there, that'll give us eight in that square, and the two will fit neatly there. Two blocking up here and two across there, that means we found ourselves another two. Five 
five and eight block up here. Actually, no, let's do it like this. Eight blocks up here, eight blocks across there. We'll get the eight in that square. Five blocks up here, we'll get the five there. And then we'll finish that little grid, mini grid with a three. Uh, let's see what's missing from here. I think three is one of the missing digits as well. And the other one uh, is one. So we've got one and three here. Uh, missing numbers here are... Um, six, seven, nine, I think. So six and seven here, blocking that square. That's going to give us nine. Nothing else is jumping up. I think we'll have to go through the digits one by one. That's a good idea because then I'll find this one here and I'll get the one blocking across here and down here and get the one there and I'll finish with the three there. Two here blocks both of those squares. That'll give us a two in that row, in that location. And we'll be left here with four, five, I think. Uh, I was going to go through um, one by one, wasn't I? And I stopped. Should I try again? Why not? Okay, we've got four blocking this square. Now, when we think about what hap what's happening in this block here, we've got four blocking down. So four is either here or here. So that can't be four, can it? Four can't be here, and four can't be in that square there. So in this column, that's the only possibility. Uh, we've also got five blocking this square, five blocking this square, and five blocking this square. So in this column here, there's our five. Five back this way, five that way. That will give us five here. Two blocks this square here. We need a two in this row, so it's got to go there. And four is the last number for that row. Four up, four across here and here. Means that's four. And last number here is five, I think. Uh, no completed digits just yet. So let's start going through again, shall we? Five across here, five up there, five up here, to the top please, five up here and five across there, five across here, across here and up there, 
and now we do have a completed digit and that digit is five So I've got to look. Oh, we've got eight blocking these two squares here. So we've got eight in that row, in that location. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be two and three, I think. So these are not two or three. So we're looking for ones. Uh, four that's okay four blocking across here and four up here will give me the four in that square there and then four down here down here and across there means that that is a four and that's finished uh, back up here so we had two and three and Okay, uh, so three, two and three in those squares here. So this is one, six, seven. We got six and seven in the same column, so that's going to be our one. Six across here, six down here, and then six up here. And we know this is two and three, so that's the six there. And we know that's two and three, so this is the seven. And seven across here and up here and up there gives us seven in that square. Uh, still to go here is three and nine no no help down here this is one and six I can't get that yet nine blocking down here and down here gives me nine in that square two blocking this square in this column there's our two there's our three excuse me and there's a three here and the last digit is going to be seven seven across will give me seven in that square and the missing digit here is going to be six i think um
three eight there and this is nine six nine I think ah oh, this is what I should be looking at isn't it thank you for calling that to my attention I know you were saying look there's one empty square in the bottom row there you're right uh, and it's for a three so let's put it in left to go here is uh, two so the two blocking across we're given the two there and finally an eight to go there so eight across here and eight down here will give me eight in that square and the last digit here is a one so one up and one across will give me final digit one not much more let's see we need a three can we get threes uh, well we got three blocking this square and three blocking this square so at least we can get a three here and we can say that this is going to be a nine now we've got nine going up and nine across there so there is our nine and nine down here and nine across there will give us nine in that square and the missing digit here is six and the six blocking up will give me six in that square and this will be a three and the three blocking down will give us three there and the last number to find is an eight and so that's all over our sudoku for november complete i think and uh tomorrow we'll begin december's uh sudoku puzzles hopefully all being well uh hope you have a, a good weekend take care bye bye